Hey everybody, this is Andrew Cam with Whole Tech Gaming. Look at this. We got a brand new series. We're gonna be playing the Sega Genesis. This is the oh I grew up this instead of having an NES, instead of having a Super Nintendo, the Sega Genesis was my first console. And one of my favorite games on the Sega Genesis was Streets of Rage 2. And that's the game we're gonna be starting with. Um it, it's, it's, yeah, I mean, here, let's read it real quick. Released year 1992. That was two years after my middle brother was born in 90, 1990. This beat em up was one of the highest rated games on the Genesis Mega Drive. Four fighters battled to rescue a friend captured by an evil syndicate. Yozo, uh, yeah, Kuroshiro's soundtrack will pump you up and it supports two players and that's, exa that's exactly what it was this was me and my little brother Michael and we'd play Streets of Rage we beat it a few times I, I, I want to play it to completion it's been a very long time uh oh plot one year after the battle the city that had been plagued with crime and violence was safe and peaceful However, evil has once again cast its shadow over the city. Ooh, look at that. Oh, look at that butt chin. Mr. X, the syndicate boss, believed destroyed by the three young delinquents, <laughs> okay, has come back stronger than ever, thirsty for revenge. He kidnaps Adam to attempt to axle into the, okay, sure. Read it at your own peril. But still, like I was saying, Sega Genesis grew up with it. Absolute pleasure. I'm very excited to share one of my fondest childhood memories. That being said, I haven't played this game and I, I guarantee you well over 20 some odd years. So, we'll see how it goes. Uh, Streets of Rage 2. Ah, so good. I wish I had my brother here playing with me, but... It is what it is. Okay, so... Okay, cool. Oh, I default picked Axel. Ah, eh, well. Let's go ahead and do it, man. So, like I said, I need to figure it out. The, that's a super button, right? That's a jump button. Okay, cool. So, this is going to be, hopefully, not just a button masher. But the uh, B button is going to be the punch. The A button is going to be a nice spin. And then this is going to be a jump button. Cool. Whee! <laughs> Well, that's a combo. Awesome. Well, it did something different. Either way. Okay, cool. So you push the punch button above an item to pick it up. I, I always, I really loved the enemy designs in this game. Like, yes, they they get repetitive like most beat 'em ups did in this era. But uh, they, how do I say it? You just saw it. Like. There was a yellow jacketed dude, and then there was the orange jacketed dude. The orange jacketed dude had a little bit more HP. Go! It, it's all good. So, oh, dude, just so much nostalgia. Super happy about it. And, you, you know, it's destructible uh, environments came directly from these types of games. Like, I don't think it would be as big of a deal uh, in nowadays games if it wasn't already kind of made a necessity <laughs> in the in the early 1990s you know what I mean so anyway always uh, do that because you never know you might need a cake right nothing okay cool well either way oh there's a time limit I, I, I guess I've never really needed to know that but you see I really do like the way they do the the life bar and whatnot pretty interesting I think that guy should be dead yeah cool oh a knife fancy uh, I do not condone this sort of violence but <laughs> whatever you got to do about the sock you from a sewer out of with a pipe you know you gotta you gotta be careful man you gotta hedge your bets okay oh whoa okay pipe man uh, there we go. Rules of engagement. Take out the biggest threat first. Oh, I hate I hated those dudes. 
hated those dudes. They, they do so much damage, man. Ah! Oh, they're just so fast and slippery. What? Oh, oh, are you kidding me? This is, this is, okay, okay. I remember having a lot of trouble with these guys whenever I was younger, too, so. I, I forget what the, the play was. Maybe it was, that was it. I had to use the damn special. That's going to be rough. I mean, it's the first level, and I'm already almost dead. Uh, nope, can't throw it. Oh, I just got tossed. That's rough. Oh, they just give me a sucker punch in the back of the head. That's rough. It's all good. Still having a great time. I forget if there was a button to throw the knife, but that's not the, the point I want to get at. It's all good. Oh, <laughs> that, uh, that, uh, Alex sandwich was brought to you by the power of getting ganged up on. Let that be a lesson to you guys. The knife is officially expended. Alright. He's got a name. I'm going to go ahead and walk away from him, though. Ooh, look, a car. Fancy. There you go. He's dead. I say you, he dead. <laughs> Ooh, I remember this guy. It's been a while. Oh, my God. There we go. Ah, oh, I did not want to pick up that turkey, but it certainly happened. Super. Look at his life. He's got two bars. Oh, just pulled out another knife. That's not a knife. This is a knife. I just wasted it. Oh, and I got knifed in the chin, dude. Ah. Oh. There we go. There we go. German suplex. Yes. Yes. Ah, oh, man. I want to have one of these connect. <laughs> You gotta be really up on the button, right? Like, you don't want to buzz button mash because it's just a cheap way to play a game, but you gotta, you gotta, uh oh. See, that was just, oh. You can't say Nintendo Polish either because that was, that was really a cool way to do this game, right? That, that knife flip, that, that's, that's just polish. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this money whether you want me to or not. There we go. There we go. Pick up this cake, because Alex is burning a lot of calories right now. I really did love the, the music in this bar. I remember that, I think, above all else. There we go. Come on. Come on. Yeah, and you can, you can kind of... It doesn't lock you into a fighting target, which is kind of nice. You can hit a couple on some, hit the guy behind you. It's all, it's all gravy. Oh, look at that. If you guys are digging this game, I'd love to know. Uh, please like the video, please comment, subscribe to the channel. This is Holt Tech Gaming, and I'm your host, Andrew Campbell. Punching dudes in the face since 1987. Do you like my announcer voice? I might continue to do this. Do this, do this. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Watch Streets of Rage 2 with your host, Andrew Campbell. Picking up muns and picking up huns. And by huns, I mean ladies. Mm. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. Unless you enjoyed it, then whatever, man. <laughs> Ooh, a pretty lady. That bartender's shady. Ooh, that rhymed. I like that. I'm going to have to fight her. I don't like it. And I remember going up to her whenever I was a very young man. Her name's Electra. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, I think that whip shocks me. Whoa, that was an inappropriate German suplex. I don't know what it is. The Japanese really loved the wrestling and German suplexes. I don't know what the hell the deal was. But uh, pretty interesting nonetheless. Okay, so if I remember right, the real, I'm starting to get it, it's starting to come back to me. Uh, you, you go ahead of them, and then you come down straight on them, so they don't have any time to really uh, react to you. Hey, look at that, I think that was stage two, maybe? We're doing a, whoa, this is a boss. I remember this guy. I remember Michael and I had a real big trouble with him. Had a real big trouble, that's... Terrible English, Mr. Campbell. 
I'm not going to fight him just yet. I don't want to activate him is what I mean. For me, I've always liked to get the, the goons out of the way. But of course, me being a little kid or you know, whatever, I don't want to take that yet, but I guess I have to. Here we go. This guy should only have two health bars as well, but there we go. Finally got a combo off. I guess that's really meant for big groups of dudes. Super okay with it. Oh, nice. Yeah, I guess you can just cheese this. I'm not quite sure. Yep, I guess you can just cheese it. Ooh. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, that was stage one, guys. What do you think? Difficult? Easy peasy? You be the judge. Okay. So, gonna be honest, I don't necessarily know if I want this to be a go through the entire game kind of game in one episode. I really don't know. I don't remember how many stages there are. Ooh, bike guys. I remember these guys. I I remember you member. I remember. And then you ask yourself, Mr. Campbell, did you eat your member berries today? <laughs> and to that I say, uh, yeah, who doesn't eat the member berries? There you go. Stab through a, a fog. Don't know if he's actually there, but he got stabbed. Get up. You gotta get up to get down. And I do like how the, the weapons are, ooh, excuse me, semi-perishable. All right, I need to learn how to, uh, how do I get rid of that? Well, there we go. I think I want, whoa, all right, cool. He's, he stole my pipe. <laughs> the best, the best, no. <laughs> don't, don't steal my pipe. That's, that's just rude. His name is Storm. Aw. Oh. All right. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You get, you get the wackies. You, you, ah. Oh. That was a little bit harder of a fight than I assumed it would be. So you kind of have to dodge the bikers, and you have to, whoa, whoa. Not doing a very good job. You can hit the guys off their bikes. But you just have to be careful. Whoa, boy, gold, ooh. Ah, oh, I got hit again. All right. Turkey? No. Oh, there's a cake, but no, it's too far away. That sucks, man. All right. Can I? No, I can't. All right. I just gotta do the beat up and go up and down as I as I see. There we go. I knocked one off their bike. I I went down. <laughs> I guess I had nowhere else to go. All right. This is this is interesting. This is very interesting. Not not complaining by any stretch of the imagination. Whoa, grenades! Keep it moving. Keep it moving till you can't move anymore. Ah. Okay. Punch you in the face. Oh, that's cheap. That's cheap. How was I hitting the one dude, and not the other? That's a question. <laughs> Okay, all right, all right, I got you. I see you, bro, I see you. You just, you just go ahead and get cheesed like you've been cheesing me. Ooh, I remember this. Now we're in a moving truck for some reason. I forget. And I don't even know, you, these guys are here. Ooh, look at this guy. This is fun. These looks like a mini boss. Did I just pull off a small weird combo thing? Oh, all right. Uh oh, that's not that's not cool. That's not cool. Okay. Well, maybe that's one of the things the game designers might have wanted to check out. You, as soon as you pick, you picking up is the same as the punch button. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. This guy's gonna get whacked by a, a pipe. It's fine. I'm happy. It's okay. Hell yeah! Punch through the truck. Right through the front end of it, too. That's crazy. I'm not doing too well. 
But for a first try after so many years, I think I'm doing okay. Uh, I just really am hurting. I need a I need a turkey or something. That cake will do nicely if I actually get the damn thing. There we go. And then most of it just got wasted dealing with these guys. Gonzalez! I don't like how ethnic that is. <laughs> I'm not down for beating up minorities, man. That's just not cool. Yeah, then you kind of back away and make sure you don't get stabbed through the sidewall of the level. It's all very nuanced, you see. Here we go. I like their names, too. Just because they're all named the exact same thing. Like, why not? To that, or they really had an adept clone pro program for the street thugs. Fighting on a bridge under construction. Like, the, the locations for these different levels are definitely awesome. Uh, if any of you out there are Sonic the Hedgehog fans, ooh, I remember this guy. I remember! Oh, it's kind of like the same the same idea of the, the biker guys. You have to dodge them. Um, yeah. And then if you don't dodge them, you get popped in the face. Not popped in the face, but you get hit at least. He just, what is going on? <laughs> That's so cool, man. That is so cool. All right, well, I just died. We have one more life. Oh, that's right, I can jump, can't I? I forgot about that. That's what I gotta do. I mean, in theory, at least. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Come on, man. <laughs> this is rough. Oh, jeez. This is difficult. Oh, that's cheap. That's cheap. Okay, well. We might get halfway through stage two, let's just say that. He's doing the same tactic that I was doing with the stage one bosses. He's going high or, or low and then coming in on me. Ah! Here we go. Because I got a popped in the face. That's good. And that's, that's not fair. Okay. Uh. A. A. No. A. C. E. End. Continue? Yes, continue. I am going to be Max, which is actually the player that I used to play with the most. He's more of a wrestler type. He is by far the most. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I got grabbed. He is by far the burliest thing I've ever seen. Really? Thank you. So there you go. Stage two clear. Oh wow, he was the stage two boss. Well, definitely difficult enough to constitute that for sure. Uh. You know, I think we're actually going to end the episode here. This is typical episode length. Let's go ahead and... Ooh, I love this stage. This stage was awesome. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and stop here, and then we're going to go ahead and go into episode two. Hey, guys, I'm Andrew Campbell with Holtec Gaming. Thank you very much for watching. Come on back. Streets of Rage number two, episode two. Coming at you. Have a great night, guys. Bye-bye.